In this lesson, we're going to talk about simplifying radicals. We're going to move on into another section, another portion of algebra that's very important. You're going to use this time and time and time again. And, you know, uh, it's going to become very useful uh, to get it right so that we're going to work a, a lot of numerous problems here. So what if you have something like the square root of 20? The question is, simplify that. Okay. Obviously, you can put 20 in your calculator and you can hit the square root button. You'll get a number. Okay, but that's not what we're trying to do here. Remember that the square root is, by definition, okay, what you're trying to find there, is you're trying to find some number that when you multiply it by itself gives you what's under here. So let's say if you had square root of 25, just for review, that's going to be equal to 5 because what you're trying to do is find 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, what you're trying to do is 5 times 5 is 25. And so that's why the answer is 5. And just to kind of, before we actually get on to my first problem, we'll just kind of continue working with this. The way you do this is to actually, if you didn't know the answer is, you, brand, you draw what I call a tree here, and you try to write numbers down that multiply together to give you 25. So the only thing I can think of off the top of my head that multiplies together to give me 25 is 5 times 5. And that's just what I know gives me 25. I can't write anything, you know, I could come down here and write 1 times 5 gives me 5, but that really doesn't help me. What I, what I know that I can use here is 5 times 5. Because it's a square root, okay, not a cubed root or a quad root or something, something like that, because it's a square root, what I look for to find the answer here is pairs of numbers. I'm trying to find numbers that occur twice here under the tree. When I find a number that occurs twice under the tree, I just bring it outside the radical and I write it one time. So it's almost like I'm, I'm writing numbers down that multiply together to give me the number up here and then of everything that I write down here I just try to find pairs of two and then I take the pair and I take that number and I pull it out of the radical because what's, that's exactly the definition. I'm trying to find numbers that when they multiply by themselves give me the number underneath the radical and so in this case it's five. Okay, so We'll move on to the original problem, which is how do you simplify this? Well, I can draw my tree like this, and I'm just going to write down some numbers that multiply together to give me 20. So off the top of my head, I can think of 2 times 10. 2, you know, I can write 1 times 2, but you don't ever write those down. You don't write things down that are 1 times whatever. So this, this goes as far as you can. Under 10, I can write 2 times 5. Okay. So then I just draw a dotted line around these two numbers because I found a pair of numbers and I pull those outside the radical and I put a 2 there. But notice I've still got this 5 left over and it's all by itself. So you, you can't just pull it out and you can't just ignore it. So what you're left with is still the square root of 5. So the answer to this problem when you say simplify square root of 20 the answer is 2 times the square root of 5. If you put this in your calculator, you take the square root of 5, you put it in there, and then you multiply by 2, um, you will get the same number that's on the left. You'll get the same exact thing, and that's exactly why they're equal here. So you look for pairs. And we'll go ahead and work a lot of examples here so you get the hang of things. What if I had the square root of 50? Well, off the top of my head, I know that 2 times 25 will give me 50. Can't do anything more with the 2, but I know that under 25, 5 times 5 will give me 